so i am vivekanand chakma and i am working as a school manager here at india foundation for education transformation so i want to talk a little bit about the ongoing program called micro innovation program which is being implemented by india foundation for education transformation in collaboration with shiksha mitra who have been supportively providing all kinds of necessary resources specifically in this program so this is a one month long program and we have uh, the necessary teachers who have been assigned the responsibility of teaching the student even during this vacation time so we believe that uh, the purpose for which this program has been rolled out will be achieved and the main purpose of this program is to enhance the uh, skills of the students those who have very low learning levels and uh, basically in this program some of the key areas will be covered under a definite curriculum plan which consists of uh, like alphabet or letter recognition and phonics awareness and sentence reading so and also writing also so uh, the condition of the students uh, you know looks uh, quite uh, you know pathetic i must say because uh, even the class 2 or 3 great student when cannot read a level text so this is a huge problem and uh, that's also impacts uh, the performance individual performance so during this one one long program the teacher has to teach the student through a definite curriculum plan and the teachers responsible for these classes have been trained by iibt and also provided with all the necessary guidance and resources so the teachers will be using teaching learning materials in their classrooms and all the teachings almost are based on activity activities classroom activities to make the classes joyful and uh, the students can easily catch up and also connect with the teaching by the teachers and the teacher has to innovate idea and uh, then deliver it in the class with one goal or objective in mind so uh, the the teachers will focus on improving in some key areas such as uh, such as like the students who are unable to recognize the alphabet so they will teach the letters or alphabet first and then uh, they will also teach the phonic sounds which is important part of the learning process and here the students also don't know exactly the phonic sounds and then after that the the student will be able to segment and blend uh, the letters to form words and also apart from that uh, the student will also be learning to make basic simple sentences using the subject and the uh, verbs and also adjectives too so these areas uh, are the main <coughs> i must say the focus points for the teachers and the necessary guidance and the trainings also have been provided to the teachers and as as we move forward so this kind of trainings will keep happening
these days the teachers have been teaching uh, the students so it's a little bit challenging for the teachers initially to identify uh, which level the students are so they first of all took the uh, assessment uh, to identify the exact level of the students and accordingly they will uh, cater the teaching learning in them or the skills they need so a detailed plan of curriculum is available with us and we have been sharing it to them we also already have shared with them so they are following that curriculum now uh, apart from uh, phonics alphabet recognition writing and grammar the students will also have uh, like confidence level boosted up and this day it's a, although a vacation time for the whole students but then the students who have been attending the class they are responding nicely and we believe that the best way to uh, invest this valuable time free out is through getting the student engaged in learning at least something during this one month so it's a good uh, innovative idea and i would like to uh, express my gratitude as a school manager to Rashiksha Mitra and IIT for bringing this wonderful initiative and implementing it with uh, in these ten schools. So definitely we will see the difference after one month, and uh, that will have a long-lasting impact. Uh, rather, even after this one month, when the schools uh, you know reopens, then uh, we will able to see the progress. So those who have been uh, supporting uh, from far and wide and also uh, like uh, supporting in different medium so I, I must I must say that we all are lucky we have uh, blessings from you so I do look forward to have this kind of initiatives again and again time and again so with that i would like to uh, remain thankful to all of you thank you so much once again